All right, time to rock on some more uh, Icewind Dale. And this is where we were last time. Yes, a reasonable request. And of course, last time, uh, I was kind of stuck fighting these mushroom dudes. said before this is a good place to start leveling up your characters <laughs> at this rate nobody's that uh, close to leveling up I suppose I got some time to yeah that's fine I guess quickly I will do as you ask come on fight him I swear to God, if I have to do this the entire stream, I am not going to be happy. I'm not going towards the end. That's one thing. So we started here, but however, uh, my party wasn't too keen on uh, staying alive, so this is where, how far we got. Bring it on! Quickly now. 
do as you ask. This time, actions must be louder than I know. Show me a target and I'll smash. The rest of these enemies aren't that hard. I am ready. What is your will? Okay, I guess Quickly I can turn Yeah. Beat time. More 
the kill. Actions must speak louder than oh. words. This enormous round table is ornamented with elaborate dwarven inscriptions. All right, so there is a puzzle. This is one of the puzzles in this. Not an illusion. Oh, good job, Serena. Jesus Christ! I really hate dealing with these uh, spell swords. Yes, certainly. God, it's request. like you just can't kill them. I mean, I don't think they can be killed. They all come at you at once. No problem. Serena, where are you going? 
What is your will? A reasonable request. Yeah, these guys are cakewalks. Witness true power. Yeah. Everyone get it in the center. What? Yes. Vita Mortis. Vita Mortis. Hi, yay. Just keep scurrying along, little rats. Oh, that feels so much what better. Agreed. to start so far back. Plus we made a little more progress to boot. Monsters learn to leave my uh, uh clerics alone. Like, seriously, Just leave her alone. I'm here. Besides, if you want to attack, I'm gonna attack the fighter. He can take the damage. Quickly agree. And so can my ranger to an extent. I shall do my best. If their spells wear off after a while, because someone said that their spells are indefinite till till they die. As far as the spell swords go. Bring it 
Okay, so I guess that was kind of a, uh... That seems sort of good they gave us. Oh, pfft. A bunch of useless long swords. But I can still probably make a good profit out of this. But why not? Yeah. But then again, of course, so do I really need all this stuff? My answer, no. But I could also make a tidy profit off of this too, so. I will assist you in any way possible. Then again, I really don't need all this stuff. So quickly now. Yeah. So we, oop, not that though. That's gotta stay. No, not that. Especially after that performance, uh, uh, we need to save. I will do as you ask. I shall do my best. Some more uh, easy picking enemies like these guys. You know what's kind of funny is that the guys that are getting shot at are ignoring links. We're getting pressure, right? Getting ignored.
quickly now. Labor calls me. Boom. I will do as you ask. something What is it? Vita Mortis Quickly agreed very specific tiles you have to step on. The problem is I don't know which tiles to step on. Because I think if you step on the incorrect tiles, you take damage. Do you know there's this? I'm just trying to think. Does that correlate with that other room? But I'll come back to that in a minute. Right now, let's just uh, continue exploring.
certainly. What's that? Proceed no further, traveler, as I would speak with you. I am not what you see. I was a master, transmuter, a red wizard of Thay. My knowledge and vast and oh, my name is was Sablek Tan. Of my mistakes, one grew tired. Use my precious magics to make that which I am having much confusion as days move on must tell you I am frightened Morrogs that roam these passages my passages are my creation they have much contempt for me I cannot leave my form, my home, punishment for my ambition. I derive pleasure for altering against their will. I have much regret. What is done is done. I cannot excuse my actions or my intents. I am not alone in guilt and I am consumed with Hatred for one. Responsibility rests not on my soul. Alone, I am but a pawn. I must be brief as I grow tired. You can help others and help me. Within these caves, the Aurochs have a leader. Not only that role, but another he Fills. He is one of six. His presence and others here to prevent intrusion placed by the one that would wrong myself and many, many others. Without his existence, his minions will scatter and the evil grow weaker. I'm afraid there may be no other way. I remain overcome with guilt. I cannot excuse my actions, however. My relevance in this world flickers and a far greater injustice burns bright. I am very grateful and know your actions extend beyond my plight. Before you leave, he will be in possession of a symbol. A badge. You must obtain this. Return with this and I will know you are true to your word. I will attempt to provide more insight then. Oof. What is your will? A reasonable request? Let's see what else this guy's got. Okay, I don't think there's much else.
that's our next task, is to find this specific Balrog and obtain his badge. find them. Okay, so Worm's Tooth is another place we're going to be visiting a little bit later. suited for him. Yeah, but he needs a shield, though. I don't want to, uh... And we're going to be going back to town soon here, because we're going to need more arrows. I am off! So I wonder if this is the badge that, uh... Agreed. That he wants. Greetings again, traveler. I am forever in debt to you. I cannot speak much longer. I must tell you that each of the six has such a badge. Should you go in search of him, you will need to obtain each of them. I must 
rest, rest. Well, later, dude. Supply ourselves because we're getting low on arrows. How are we doing on everything ready. else, though? Potions I could use. Now we're making some real progress here. I'd like to know where these battles are taking place. So I can see how, uh... What's going on? Labor calls me. Like to know where all this is all taking place. Quickly now. Yes, certainly. I am ready. I am off. Those ends are smart, they'd help us attack. Oh, great, there I go. Holy bay. Yes, a reasonable request. Mykonids are just, just dudes who want to be left alone and yet yet and uh, want to clear them out. Just taking a beating.
I am ready. I will do as you ask. What is your will? Quickly now. I am off. Like I said, I should just wait until this all, uh, this all finishes up here and then, uh, we'll be on our merry way. Who's got the bummy's tea? He does. Yes. Dang. Labor calls me. So I wonder if that one ent took care of all those uh, mushroom dudes. Those mica dens. Well, there's nothing left. So I guess he must have done me a huge favor. And he doesn't even suffer a scratch. That's very surprising. But like I said, hey. But hey, less work for us. So, there you go. I suppose I got some time to kill. Aye. Har, har, har. Labor calls me. Certainly. I need supplies. I run low. Potions too. I shall do my best. I am tired. We must stop. I need to rest once in a while. I must have rest. Labor calls me. Oh, that's a pretty big bounty right there. Now, there should be no excuses as to why you guys ran out of arrows. I mean, my god, it was nearly cleaned out your, uh, your yes. inventory. Do much arrows. Okay, that's it.
If you I shall do my best. All right, so let's distribute the ammunition here. Too. Except for the invulnerability or scroll, I want to keep that. Oh. Fire show might come in handy later. How may I best serve? Ooh. Also vulnerability. Ooh. Now that's a rare find. Literally, that is a yes. very rare find. I am off. Labor calls me. I am off. Although, I don't know if invulnerability works the way I think it works in any D&D uh, &D game. I should start considering starting carrying more of these. Although this potion of really, I gotta take a look at something here. that insulation? Oh, I th Hmm. Wait a minute. What was that other? Oh, it was insulation. I thought it was invincibility for a minute. <laughs> Must have read, read that incorrectly. Hmm. Let's take a look at something here. So what's the difference between this and this? It can only be used by warriors, all right. Hmm. Very interesting, to say the least. We should be alright for potions for a while. Alright, now we're fully stocked up and ready to go.
So yeah, like I said, once once again, uh, I'll just have to sit back and let the uh, Mechanids uh, get crushed by the Etans. Where am I going? Dude, no. Yeah. Oh, for the love of God. This is so suicide right here. <laughs> Watch me work. I mean, yeah, that's great. You're leading on a wild goose chase, but, uh... Ready to do adventuring and stuff. Mechanists could use some help. Now, witness true power. Quickly now. Yes, I will do as you ask. Yes, we got company. I am ready. Looks like I'm gonna have to go on a killing Show me a target, and I'll smash it. 
Yet a reasonable request. Okay, that helps tremendously, but uh, the thing of it is, I'm almost dead. here. So it looks like it's a hammer and anvil, cross axes, and the number eight. Alright. And I think only I'm allowed to step on them. So that means that's correct. So the next symbol I gotta look for is the crossed axes. Yeah. Yes! Serena, go back and see what that's. Oh. Hey, that's okay. I rented it. Oh, all right. Seriously? Yeah. Sure. Sure. That's what they all say. Guys, what are you doing? Are you doing? No. So be it. I am ready. What is it? I am off. Uh, I'm not sure which. So yeah, it literally is just axes. I shall do my best. All right, so I only got one part of the puzzle solved. Quickly, favor calls me. And I wonder if the puzzle resets if I leave. I'm willing to bet it does. What resembles axes? I know this is last. I'm thinking it's this. Oh, see? Well, it's... Okay, so the puzzle does reset. Yeah, I think the red spots are safe zones. Do 
I think so. It must have opened a door somewhere. So yeah, like I said, I believe the like I said, the red spots are safe zones or were. What opened up though? Puzzle again. Quickly, that uh, we'll see. calls me. Open because I heard a click. Saber hmm. calls me. I guess something did open. Unless it's in another room. Sure, where to go? Let me see if there's any other illusions in this room. On a minute here. Something something isn't right. Yeah, the bandages I'm not so uh concerned with. So what exactly is this supposed to do?
Okay, there's a lever in there. Okay. All right, well, it would be nice to know, but hey, you know, it's better to learn now than never. Uh, sorry about that. All right, so there was a lever in there. Let's try this. There it is. So Edward leveled up. Very nice. I suppose I got some time to kill. Oh, you can learn priest spells? Wow. Cool. That's uh, good to know. <laughs> Looks like we got ourselves another healer. <laughs> Alright, so that's what's opened up. So now we're in Dorn's Deep. Well, even further down. Where's no? Let's take a look at this. I don't need this. This trap has left me for dead, but it's just as well. I have felt the evil within me since the moment I set foot in this crypt. My actions no longer my own. My thoughts confused. My will gone. Perhaps another will discover the disturbance before it manages to overcome them. I found another road through a gaping hole in one of the prison cells in the aurora infested area above this chamber, but that led to yet more of their foul kind and a large grotesque beast that I could have sworn was speaking with me. Perhaps the evil was within my mind even then. What is your... I am off. Oh, gotta be careful, that's right, there are traps here. I will do as you ask. This beautiful monument appears to represent dwarven craftsmanship in the art of metallurgy. It also seems to have at one time been something functional. You suddenly feel very, very cold. I guess if something's here. There's a ghost lurking about somewhere. Recently, there has been the occupation of our cemetery, the Tears of the Dead, by the necromancer Terracan. Throughout the history of Dorns, we've always had to contend with the Orc Hordes during our way of life. However, thanks to inspired diplomacy between the leaders of our community and the Elves of the Severed Hand, we forged an alliance that kept both of our homes safe from harm. Corruption from within led to a falling out between our peoples no longer organized into an effective, cohesive whole. It was only a matter of time before the orcs overran both settlements. I am not certain, but it was apparent, at least from our perspective, that someone was deliberately attempting to see mistrust between the dwarven and elven communities. When the orcs began appearing far better equipped than in times previous, the elves began to suspect that dwarven smithies were in league with the horde. The elves felt they could not control our appetite for gold. So we were accused of providing the orcs with superior armament. Later, the elves took their accusations a step further and accused us of arming the orcs within the intention of having them destroy the severed hand. So it sounds like a lot of finger pointing going on here. So it seems like the elves are accusing the dwarves of selling better armaments to the orcs and goblins for their lust in getting them some gold. Not any dwarf within Dorn's Deep, I can tell you that much. We were warriors, not betrayers. If truth be told, I believe both communities were deceived by someone within one of our own families. I know not who, but I hope that, that when that person meets their end, they feel the pain of every dwarf and elf that lost their lives. Certainly. What would you like to know? 
Terra Camlins, a wretched necromancer that came from Dorne shortly after the strife that put an end to our community. He was aware of the tragedy that gripped Dorne's deep and knew it would serve as fertile ground to continue his research. <clears throat> During the the let's try that again. During the construction of the deep, we had the misfortune of uncovering a cavern that housed an ancient fortress from the negative energy plane. Now, I don't know if some being from that plane felt our presence, or if the fortress itself was disturbed by the intrusion, but shortly thereafter, undead began to appear. At first it was merely a skeleton or two, nothing we couldn't handle, but over time we received more and more reports of undead sightings. In the end, I don't think any of us were prepared for what could have become known as the Battle of the Dead. <sighs> One morning, our community awoke to the screams of the son of Jamath. He'd been playing within some of the caves near the forge and claimed he had seen a small group of skeletons. We sent a few men down to investigate. They returned, badly wounded. Hundreds of skeletons, zombies, ghouls, and other undead had suddenly appeared in the Vortis cave, preparing to attack the settlement. Within time working against us, excuse me, let's try the sentence again. With time working against us, we assembled our remaining soldiers and went forth to vanquish the deceased. No Dorn's dwarf would concede defeat while our community was threatened. Our wounded began to accumulate, and many of our brethren joined their attackers in spiritual unrest that day. Just as it appeared that we might have to retreat, a miracle occurred. From within the tides of flesh and bone emerged Jamoth, hacking at the dead around him with a fevered glee, bellowing with laughter. Love to see this guy at parties. Within each swing of his weapon, the undead around him disintegrated, regardless of whether he struck them or not. It was a beautiful sight to see, my friend. Jamoth and our community were touched by Moradin that day. We later discovered the Vortis that brought forth the undead and was somehow reversed, returning the spirits to their home within the plane of negative energy. Yes, once our community no longer inhabited these chambers, Terracan took up residence in the Hall of Heroes with the determination to restore the Vortis. He is convinced that if he unlocks its secrets, he will be able to manipulate other vortices throughout Faerun. Terracan knew no mortal man could ever master the vortis. Shortly after his arrival in our home, he began preparing himself for the rituals necessary to become a lich. Fortunately, Terracan must have neglected some of the proper enchantments, as the powers that he wields were are inferior to much of his kind. Terracan is much more powerful than I. I am fortunate I continue to inhabit these chambers with my own mind. Once Terrican learns of any dead within these halls, he seeks to destroy their will with his necromatic arts. Anything that lives, he slays. That would not be an easy task. You cannot destroy Terrican by striking him down. It is, life, it is his life force that sustains him, not his shell. Liches store their life forces within specifically constructed phyletrices. Phyletrices? By lectaries, whatever. Most liches go to great lengths to protect their. that word, often placing them in remote locations where no one can find them, then safeguarding them with enchantments. Terracan, however, felt his. phylactery is safe as close to him, and he has placed it within a crypt in the Hall of Heroes. The phylactery is not something that can be destroyed by common means. To destroy it, you'll need to remove it from this plane. A daunting task, to be certain. That is where fortune favors us. The very vortice that Terracan is studying can destroy him as well. It lies within the Hall of Heroes, inside the tomb of Jamoth. Any undead being, regardless of power, is pulled back to that dreadful plane of existence upon entry into the tomb. That is why I have never been able to enter the tomb myself. Ah, but to reach the Hall of Heroes, you'll need to pass through the Tears of, de tier the tears of the Dead, where Terracan resides. Not only that, but with the great door of the Hall of Heroes locked, and I'm certain possesses the key. If you defeat Terrakin's physical form, make case for the Hall of Heroes, where he will only be subdued for a short while. Certainly. What would you like to know? I am known as Norlanor. While alive, I served as a priest of Morden for our church where within Dorne's Deep. 
Specifically, I was given the title Artisan of the Forge, and it was my duty to maintain this place. I died defending this temple. I did not anticipate visiting it in the afterlife. The presence of Terracan, the necromancer who has taken up residence in the Tears of the Dead, has quenched the flames that gave the Forge life. With the Forge called, the spirits of the dead have become restless, forced from their tombs into servitude for that monster. Almost all the dead of Dorne's Deep are now enslaved to Terracan. I fear I am the only one who remains free. Terracan's transformation into a lich has caused enough negative energy to be drawn to the area that even our forges and machines have been affected. Perhaps destroying Terracan could bring the forge to life again. One thing is for certain, as long as the forge remains cold, the spirit of Dorne's Deep are denied our final rest. Certainly. What would you like to know? Oh wait, hang on. Well, I really don't need anything here. Alright, so... Alright, so that's our next task. We have to go to the Tears of the Dead now. Quickly, I shall do my best. And it looks like there's three of them here. Hmm. Well, we can always start here. Okay, so this is where a uh, turn on death gonna come to play. Holy cow! Well, then again, these are white, so they're not that hard to deal with. Oh, I gotta be careful, there are traps here. Well, it's a good thing I kept that fire sword. <laughs> it is literally a very good thing. Yes. Oh, and plus I also got some, uh, oil, too. Job, Serena. Quickly now. Yes. So it seems like fire is going to be our best bet. So, so it looks like it's up to me. Take care of these monsters. I am ready. Oh, and turn on dead too also me. helps. There's bound to be more traps here somewhere. Okay, these are fire arrows for sure. Oh, fire arrow plus one, very nice. But I gotta save my arrows, though. Can't just waste them. What is your will? Oh, that's not what I asked for. Chaos dagger. But it deals more damage.
So it's a bit of a trade-off here. Dagger may do less damage, but it's... But this still stays at 10 instead of a... Yeah. job. trying to do, Serena? Don't be pickpocketing me. Yes. Labor calls me. I am ready. I will do Oh, these all lead to the same area. Okay, never mind. I shall do my best. how you do it. Good job, Serena. That's my Serena. You're my girl. Kind of girl. You know how to detect traps and keep us safe. like you were supposed to. I mean, yeah, sure, you only took one damage here, but that's not the point. See? Like that. progress here through the Hall of the Dead, or Tears of the Dead, rather, excuse me. I guess we could go back to town and uh, uh, get the stuff identified to make ourselves a little bit of a profit. I will do as you ask. I mean, I 
guess. I shall do my best. A reasonable request. realize something else. There's another item. Another flame sword that would be useful against trolls. Hmm. It's worth buying though. Are you doing? Here I go. Wow. 
What a reasonable request. Oh. I shall do my best. Oh. Kaldahar. Why this really hasn't been too bad so far? I am sorry. I don't mean to interrupt, but perhaps we should rest. Okay, that's it. I get to sleep. This is it right here, Troll Slayer. Huh. Well, I don't know. I just don't know. For both of us, actually. I'm gonna bring the other guys down. Yeah, this is a horrid investment. Yes, right, let's try this again. I, I really want to keep that money. So I guess that sword's not gonna be that much use after all. Despite the fact that it has fire properties on it. Hmm. Hmm.
Yeah. Exception of this, I'm selling this one. Long sort of action. Oh, she has splint mail. Oh, well. Greetings. How's I didn't see you there. How's it going? Ooh. People just gotta learn to pay a little more attention here. Well, anyways, I think I'm content with what I've I got. A reasonable. I shall do my best. Dorn's deep. I must have rest. Ooh. I don't mean I'm doing pretty talk, good. But perhaps we should rest. Wow, jeez. Had to take a okay, open test it. or craziness test? Gotta be careful with that word. Labor calls me. Well, I uh I just hope uh you I just hope you I just hope you turn out all right, man. Well, anyways, going back to Dorn's Deep now. Relax and watch the uh, Benton go to work on these uh, Mykonids. Or is it Mykonid? Oh, it doesn't really matter. I just call them Mushroom Dudes. Well, that's good to know that you're uh, going to take care of yourself. That's good to know that you're taking care of yourself during this whole craziness. in a good mood today. Despite the fact that my uh, companions here aren't exactly the brightest bulbs in the bunch, but hey. But hey, I still love them dearly. Ah, I am ready. It's a shame that we must resort to violence. That's 
Trina, what are you doing? Serena, you don't have the, uh... Well, you could equip yourself with long swords, but, uh... You're just... You're just better at shooting than you are at, uh... Stabbing and slicing enemies. This to be destroyed. Must speak louder than the words. Yeah. I'm a good man. I am ready. Places to go. Monsters to kill. Ah. Be here. Quickly, a reasonable request. You know, despite the fact that these ends are huge, they're pretty easy to kill. Not like those, uh, spell swords. My god, those are hard to deal with. I shall do my best. Let's head over here and we'll rest up. out perfectly. I am ready. Labor calls me. back here. So we're back into the Tears of the Dead. Agreed. Lucky for me, Serena is here so she can detect traps for us. Quick, 
You guys line up, come on. Oh, another ledge. What is your will? Looks like I'm gonna have to go on a killing. Stop wondering now. Like, seriously, stop wondering. It's annoying. Come on. It, sacrificing himself. Who 
monsters are so annoying to deal with. Wait a minute, though. Wait a moment. I'm ready to do adventuring. And, yeah. God, these lizards are so annoying to deal with. I understood you the first 20 times you selected me. Hey! He's not enough for you! Tomfoolery? Hmm? I will do as you ask. We are definitely in need of aid after all that. And the rest I can use with potions. I can use the rest with potions. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, if it's only a few points off, I'm not that concerned. Oh, I ran out of arrows. Yeah. Like said, these crazy liches here, if they just leave us alone. I will assist you in any way possible. She'll be okay. I am ready. Agreed. And I think this is where I'm going to stop for right now. Alright, thank you to those who watched. Thank you to those who joined me in the chat. I'll see everybody next time.